So on behalf of the entire uh, Speed Institute and all the faculty members, I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you uh, for scoring a topmost rank uh, in uh, DM Oncology and uh, rank number one in any SS uh, 2022 session. Best wishes to you, Doctor, on behalf of the Institute. And thank you to know about your brief background um, for your medical career till date so far. It's a myself, uh, Dr. Santosh. I did my undergraduation from Bangalore Medical College. And I, after that, I did my post graduation uh, in MD Medicine uh, from AIMS in New Delhi. And I, uh, I completed my MD Medicine in December 2021, uh, 34 months back. And after that, I was working as a senior resident panacat in the Department of Medical Oncology at AIMS. Currently, uh, I passed out uh, the DM entrance, so I will be joining as a CAD resident. So, uh, why uh, DM Medical Oncology is a special interest? Any specific reason that you decided? This is one, uh, probably from the third semester itself, when I used to read uh, Harrison's Oncology, initially there was a statement that, that even a symptomatic uh, aortic stenosis and uh, very worse prognosis of pancreatic cancer has the same uh, mortality. So that instilled and uh, through the days when we are going through the journals and other things, the precision medicine, which is translated, uh, there's a translation research from bench, uh, from, uh, bench to bedside, which has uh, changed the overall uh, scenario in the oncology practice. So that made me interested in oncology. And also one more thing is, as we are the Indian pyramid, aging pyramid is more, and we are getting more incidence of cancers. And we do need the physicians, oncophysicians who cater to that uh, set of uh, patients. Okay. So, I mean, uh, how you started your preparation? What are your strategies? And yes, what all you did uh, to score this right? One thing, I, it was very late that I decided I should do DM and it should be medical oncology, though I was interested in the subject. I was interested in basic internal medicine and used to read all subjects in detail. So it was almost two, two, two and a half years. There was a lag in the MD because these days people start very early and they do achieve heights very early. So it was very late. I decided and all in the, during the periphery postings and other things. Once I decided, then I didn't know what to read and how to read though the subject is very new. And uh, the speed was also during that time it started and I didn't have any idea of how. Initially I used to go through David a few pages, I used to see patients, then I used to come back, read journals. And later when I thought I should do DM Medical Oncology, then I joined speed. Then I used to go through classes whenever I find time. Then that, that, do, that did help for the long time. So were you able to uh, go through the videos uh, which were given in the app? And yes, sir. The videos are very comprehensive, exhaustive list. And with the minimal of time, I, could, I used to see videos in, in the 2x speed, double x speed, uh, whenever in the post night duties or whenever in night duties, whenever I used to get time, I used to see videos in the double x speed, a few videos which are the important topics. And it did help a lot. Whenever I used to see find some, find some crazy new drug, then I used to remember this was uh, said in that class. Then I used to go back to the same video, then I used to rewind and see. Great. So, where is the content relevant to the exam, the standard of exam? Yes, sir. Relevant in the sense, uh, most of the questions definitely can't be asked or it can't be expected from the videos. But in one or the other way, it will be set somewhere. So, we can relate and rule out two options. The other two options you would have seen somewhere in your practice days. So, it is kind of relevant, definitely true. So, were you able to give the grand exams, the model exams, which were? Loaded? Grand exams, yes, I did give one. And it was, I think I got some rank five or six somewhere there which okay. also gave me confidence. Uh, so it was useful, yes. So what is the message and advice that you want to give for the aspirants of uh, DM? Ah, yes, the advice is first, uh, uh, concentrate on basic principles of medicine, uh, which gives you the background to answer any or any questions or any clinical scenarios. Then decide the subject of yours based on your choice, based on your how you fit the circle. Then uh, after that, you can, there are very, various options, for example, speed, which gives you a the backbone motivation and kind of resources like videos, exams and tests. So you can go through it and make most use, use of it by going through revi revision is the key, basically. So how, how, how many questions did you were able to attend the exam? For this I, uh, the, con the, the key is you have to attend most as many questions as possible. So I attempted 79 questions. Oh, excellent. So preparation like this, where your primary interest was for uh, any SS or for a neat SS or you prepared only for an any SS, where you're giving importance to the general medicine also. So what basically, kind of as I said, I was uh, reading internal medicine and recently there was change in the syllabus for neat SS that they're asking 70% of uh, uh, 
uh, I mean, 100% of the questions are medicine. And also now there are like 30 questions from NES is also medicine. I was reading basically medicine most of the time, 60 to 70%. And oncology, 30, 30 to 40% I was of the time I used to read oncology. Because I had basic set of notes from which was made from speed. I used to revise those oncology because the medicine part makes the difference. Oncology, since it's a NESS, most of them would be reading most of the uh, the DM oncology or their specialization subject. So basic medicine will make little difference and oncology as well the updates and how you approach the clinical scenario. Really great, Doctor. Once again, I wish you all the best and all the success for a great career uh, in uh, DM oncology. I was a great oncologist. Your service that you're going to impart for the community coming across to you is going to be a uh, great help to them. And also your contribution to the speciality is also going to be enormous. For all that, once again, we wish you all the best and all the success uh, yes. for your entire career. And also best wishes to you, to all your family members, friends and relatives and all the people around you. Yes, sir. I, I also thank you very much. Uh, for giving me uh, this opportunity and also I would take this opportunity as a platform. I would thank my professor, Professor Vick, sir, who was my uh, uh, mentor during MD days and all my uh, staff and uh, faculty at ISCH who motivated me to take medical oncology and uh, as well as the uh, faculty at Speed. I wish you all the best and thank always uh, have a great successful career. Thank you. Thank you.